Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am a verified educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you can find my other courses as well which are related to environmental engineering. So this lesson is on some solved examples related to septic tank and its design. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on solved examples uh, related to design of septic tank. Also in this lesson, we are going to see Imhoff tank in brief by Sharyu Pujari. That's me. About me, I am a verified educator on an academy. I have done my MTech in environmental science and technology and BE in civil engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform as well as this is my profile on an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well so uh, this course was published uh, previously which was on characteristics of sewage so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so friends let's start with this the first example that is on septic tank is but before this lesson please do refer my lesson on septic tank in which I have explained with diagram what is septic tank how does it works and we have seen the design parameters in that lesson. So based on that design parameters now we are going to solve this example which was asked in gate 1999. So the question is uh, design a septic tank for a colony of 200 people. The colony is supplied water at a rate of 135 liter per person per day. Assume a detention period of 24 hours and 75% of the water becomes wastewater. The tank is cleaned once in a year. The rate of deposition of sludge is 40 liter per person per year. Depth of tank is to be kept as 2 meter. Provide a free board of 0.3 meter and L by ratio may be kept as 3 is to 1. So this question is given and we have to design a septic tank, right? So let's start. So number of people given is 200. Rate of flow is 135 liter per person per day. Detention time is given as 24 hours. Next is cleaning period is 1 year. Rate of deposition is 40 liter per person per year and 75% water becomes wastewater so the factor is 0.75 right so h is equal to 2 meter and the free board that is fb is equal to 0.3 meter and l by b ratio is 3 is to 1 so the first thing first we need to find out is the q and here in this uh, for septic tank we will consider the dry weather flow only so flow dry weather flow i have discussed in my lesson estimation of dry weather flow and wet weather flow in that i have explained all the parameters in detail so the uh, dry weather flows formula is population into rate of flow into the factor so population is 200 rate of flow is 135 and factor so the what is factor so they have given 75 percent water becomes waste water so that is our factor so 0 0.75 75 upon 100 right so we get to 0 to 50 liter per day so if we convert it into meter cube per day we get our q as 20.25 meter cube per day so this diagram is for height Right, so, so total depth is given as 2 meter, right? Depth is given or height is given as 2 meter and free board is given as 0.3. So remaining is the effective depth. So 2 minus 0.3 will give us 1.7 meter. So it is our effective depth, right? So next, uh, as I have uh, given design parameter in septic tank, the total volume of septic tank is equal to volume of settling zone plus volume of sludge zone. Now we will consider our volume of settling zone as V1 and volume of sludge, sludge zone as V2. So V1 is equal to Q into DT. So this Q we have just calculated that is drive the flow into DT. Detention time is 24 hours right 
24 hours that we have converted into day so because this is meter cube per day this is converted into day so 20.25 into 24 by 24 will get our v1 as 20.25 meter cube now let's calculate the v2 that is volume of sludge zone so what is volume of sludge zone it is the rate of sludge produced into number of users into desludging period right so here uh, desludging period is one year so that period of cleaning in question is given as one year right number of users are 200 and rate of sludge produced is 40 divided by 10 raised to 3 because it is 40 liter per person per year that we have converted into meter cube right 40 upon 10 raised to 3 into 200 into 1 will get our v2 as 8 meter cube right so we got our v1 and v2 so total volume of septic tank is equal to 20.25 plus 8 so we'll get our total volume of septic tank as 28.25 meter cube so volume we have got so after volume we can find out surface area easily so surface area is equal to volume upon height so here but height we are going to take is the effective height that i have showed in the diagram right so volume is 28.25 meter cube upon 1.7 meters so this is the effective height that is to total height minus free board so 2 minus 0.3 will get us 1.7 meter so we get our surface area as 16.61 meter square next we'll find out so they have given uh, L by B ratio right L by B is equal to 3 is to 1 so L is equal to 3 B right so surface area is equal to L into B so 16.61 is our surface area and L is here 3 B right 3 B into B so B is equal to under root 16.61 divided by 3 will get our B as 2.35 so putting that in this value L is equal to 3 B so L uh, is equal to 3 into 235 we get our L, uh, L as 7.05 meter so we got our surface area we got our L and we got our B also we have calculated the total volume of septic tank and surface area right so next uh, is the depth of sludge accumulation so its formula is volume upon sludge volume of sludge divided by surface area so uh, here we have calculated the volume of sludge right so this v2 is the volume of sludge that is 8 meter cube right so that is 8 volume of sludge divided by surface area here l into b that is 7.05 into 2.35 so our depth uh, of sludge accumulation is 0.482 meter so here our design gets complete so with the depth of sludge accumulation the design is completed so please do remember all the important formulas required for the design of septic tank so next we are going to see a small part I, I do I will not go in much detail because a one mark MCQ will be asked on this and so far no uh, two marks on numerical questions are asked on Imhoff tanks right so what is a Imhoff tank so it is an uh, tank or Imhoff tank uh, it is generally a two storage tank and it was designed by a German scientist Mr. Karl Imhoff that's why its name is Imhoff tank right and they are sometimes also known as two story digestion tank this is first story and this is second story I will uh, I will explain so this is lower compartment and this is upper compartment so it is sometimes also known as two story digestion tank right so imhoff tank is a two compartment septic tank and it consists of an upper compartment and a lower compartment so upper compartment is used for settling and lower compartment is used for anaerobic digestion so upper compartment is aerobic and lower compartment is anaerobic right so Imhoff tanks generally combine the advantage of both the septic tank as well as the sedimentation tank right and uh, and small and can be used for small treatment plants requiring only primary treatment so Imhoff tanks are quite economical and do they do not require skilled attention during operations the results obtained are very good or quite good um, 
uh, quite good with 60 to 65 percent removal of solids and 30 to 40 uh, percent removal of BOD right and this sim of tanks uh, are used or are suitable for if number of users are more than 300 then this uh, M of tanks are preferred to septic tank. So if the number of users are more than 300, M of tank is preferred to septic tank, right? Uh, so uh, this was a short introduction or short information about M of tanks. Uh, and uh, we'll see some MCQs related to this and septic tank in my next lesson. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Please do rate uh, also uh, if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comments. And uh, uh, please do uh, share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you.